Alright guys, here is something 20 years in the making. If you have a fridge that is far from the water line and you need to hook up for the ice maker and the water, this is it. And this is the water pump. Now about 20 years ago when I bought this home, the fridge is a bit too big to put in the old spot. So I had to put in a new spot, but that created a new problem because I couldn't hook up the water, water line to the fridge. And if I want to do that, I have to cut the wall open and solder the new copper tubing it's just too much work so I thought man there should be an easier solution for this now 20 years ago this pump doesn't exist so I came up with my own solution using gravity and that served me well for 20 years so skip forward to the 21st century this pump is about $150 it solved that problem in the box they give you everything you need. This is a one quarter tubing, some fittings, locking nuts, and the uh, pump itself, of course. I'm thinking of redesigning this pump and uh, using gravity and some new parts. Uh, what you guys think? And the pump is nicely labeled. And there's a in, there's an out, there's a uh, water input. And here's the full specs. Now, my fridge, uh, it requires at least 30 PSI for the uh, ice maker to work. And this pump uh, create 40 PSI, so it's enough. Um, to meet the requirement. Now the pump came with the manual, but the pump itself is nicely labeled as you can see. There's a in, out, float and a power input. So you just hook up accordingly. The nozzle here is uh, to put inside the bottle so we can handle a 5 gallon or 3 gallon. I use 5 gallon and this 1 quarter tubing to connect to the back of the fridge. So this is the back of my fridge. It came like this. I had to remove the plastic protector and it exposed the water inlet. Just a matter of hooking up the one quarter tubing as you can see there. Now I think this thing is self-explanatory. You just hook up the tube into that black plastic and then hook that up to the output and then the beaker tube hook it up to the input now when you put this thing in uh, there's no twisting or anything, just push it all the way in and just make sure it go all the way in.
once the tube's in, I turn the pump upside down and there's a locking latch there. Uh, just push it down, you will hear it click. That way it locks those tubes so it doesn't come off accidentally. My fridge recommendation is to run two to three gallons of water so that you don't have that plastic smell. But for mine, I did 15 gallon, 10 gallon of tap water, and then five gallon of distilled water. Now when you hook up this thing, make sure you put that tiny plastic piece in the correct order. Um, that way when you lock it to the back of the fridge, it will squeeze that plastic so that you don't have any water leakage. Now I first tie it by hand and then use a wrench um, and this is you have to be very careful um, if you're not careful you ruin the thread and uh, that's the end of that tiny plastic piece that I showed you earlier if that thing ruined then uh, you have to get a replacement the first 15 gallon I turn on the pump and then check all the water line make sure there's no leakage I got a pot under the pump uh, just to be sure in case there's any leakage uh, the floor doesn't get wet here's the back of the fridge no leakage and the pump is on so here um, the first 15 gallon uh, I'm just get all the plastic smell out now pay attention to the pumps noise thank you for watching guys uh, if you have any question and drop me an email or write down below and this thing has been working for one day now everything's all great